Well, hello everybody, this is the craziest uh, one yet, uh, but uh, I, I should do it simply because uh, everybody else uh, has asked me about these things and I want to give them a, a quick look. So let's see, they save me postage or if they decide they want them, it gives them an idea of what they're all about. Uh, I just met uh, on the internet and apparently I've been watching them for a while and enjoying his videos. They were very funny. Um, uh, but he changed channels. So when I went, I saw the, the channel come up, and it had only had one video, and it was about him talking about what you know what he has coming up. I wasn't sure uh, what it was, and I asked what he got coming up, and and then I got a hold of his old channel, and I'd been stupid to me. Uh, I'd been watching it for a while. It's very funny stuff, and uh, the channel name is uh, a let's see, um, a shot at life. Now. Uh, we were going back and forth about the comics, and I tried to, I tried to send him the video that I had done on the one comic. Which I don't know if you remember or not, but it was a Rocky Marijuana Seed Meets the Old Coot. Uh, it's the one that's in full, it's in full color, and and one cost me a, a lot more money than the rest. <laughs> uh, but uh, uh, for some reason, I, I haven't been able to get it to him. So uh, what I want to do is now I'm not going to run through the whole thing, but I want to give a quick flash through. Of these comics so that in the future if anybody uh, wants to decide whether or not they want them they can uh, they they can uh, uh, they'll have a better idea and they can they can just tell me and I'll send up some copies but here's the one I was talking about Rocky Marijuana Seed meets the old coot and uh, as you can see the the uh, the, the art I, I, I wrote them and produced them and did the layout and then I had a um, a guy I met and uh, and have been friends with now for a long time. They did the artwork, and he had just, of all things, graduated from a school uh, where he spent four years learning how to do cartoon work. But, but, uh, uh, and there was a real big demand for comics back in the early 90s. Uh, you just couldn't get enough of them, and then they sort of consolidated and forced all the, the little independents out. But uh, here's, uh, here, just show you, just to show you some of the artwork this this guy's capable of uh, just just beautiful stuff just beautiful stuff and it's about uh, a guy named rocky marijuana seed and, and it's a story uh it's it's really a parable on the war and, and here's an interesting thing uh, all the characters in this in this in this part of the magazine all these people here were all people that worked for me at the time and a bunch of kids I used to hire like six or seven high school kids to work for me and they and they all wanted to be in the comic so I gave them I gave a picture of them to the guy in the comic uh, that was doing the comics and he and he uh, he uh, uh, worked them in worked them into the mob scenes and stuff and and everybody enjoyed it and there was other things in it like like a thing about uh, hallucinogenic plants and poisonous plants and all kinds of crazy stuff, uh, but it was it was about this character Rocky Marijuana Seed, and that's him on the cover, and that's him, and and it's really a parable. It's not really about drugs, and I don't advocate anybody anybody use drugs, but it's a as I said, it's just a parable of of uh, what was going on. Uh, about the, our involvement in Vietnam, I thought we shouldn't have any any reason to be there. And then the first one was what, uh, what I called, uh, which was uh, called Rocky's Inferno, and it's a takeoff on uh, on the uh, Dante's Inferno, Dante Allegro, uh, the first uh, modern uh, Renaissance writer, uh, the Italian. I'm sure you've all been familiar with him. And it's just a, a, a series of different layers of hell. And of course, you, if anybody followed me, you know I don't believe in heaven or hell. But this is just a, this was just a joke. And and this was the main character. And the main character was also the kid on the cover. Also, he had worked for me in the for a long time. And then the, the second one in this, the third one in the series, but the second one in Rocky Marijuana Seed, uh, it, it returns to psychedelic land, and it's all about the production of, of marijuana and how they don't let the people uh, enjoy it anymore, and they, they ship it overseas. And again, this is all parable about, or even it, it would even work today, even though these were written in the 60s, of what's happening to the international firms. They don't give a crap about America, and that's what was happening in here. And, and 
and now like there's a wanted person for Rocky and all that crap. Well, now the same thing with the with the uh, National Defense Authorization Act, and then the last last one in that series, and this was a series called the '60s Back in Time. It's a competition to see who's the biggest freak in the world, and there's going to be a lot of people offended here because it's a competition between Spyro Agnew, and people won't remember him because he was the vice president under Nixon, had to resign because he was taking payoffs in the White House. <laughs> I mean, these Republicans are such fucking crooks, and they've always been such fucking crooks. Uh, but anyway, uh, it was a competition between Spyro Agnew, Jesus Christ, and that's where everybody's going to get offended. Uh, a Tim Timothy Leary, uh, Timothy Leary's dead, remember that? Uh, he's the guy that said, tune in, turn on, and drop out. Uh, and he and he was a friend, a friend of mine. Uh, anyway, and uh, uh, who did I leave out? Uh, Dennis Hopper from from the movie Easy Rider and Captain America. And uh, let's see, Timothy. Oh, anyway, uh, Dan, oh oh, and how <laughs> can I forget Charlie and Charlie Manson, of course, uh, uh, from. Helter Skelter and the one that was responsible to send the, send the people out and killed, killed the Sharon Tate and a whole bunch of people. It was a horrible crime. And then, of course, there's the three three series on Howard Stern, The Lampoon, and it's all all about uh, jokes about Howard Stern and, and, and his life. And I thought, well, let me suck up to him. Uh, well, the story goes, I sent, uh, I know Jackie the Joke Man was always into marijuana, so I sent him a copy of the of the comics, of the marijuana comics, thinking maybe I get some advertisement on Howard Stern, and he sends me a note back. Why don't I do a comic on Jackie the Joke Man? And I said, "Fuck Jackie the Joke Man. Let me do one on Howard Stern." So it's called the unauthorized lampoon of Howard Stern, meaning anything that's called a lampoon, you can say anything you want about anybody. And Howard makes a living out of cracking bullshit, the same bullshit year after year, and I don't know why anybody fucking listens to him, about, about people, and so I, I wrote a comic, I, I sucked up to him, the first one, sending him a copy of, of the comic, thinking he's going to like it, and I'm going to get, I'm going to get a lot of advertising from it, and I'm going to sell a lot of copies, and it'll make up for all the money I lost on the first series, <laughs> but anyway, so he, he, uh, 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 every Jewish lawyer in uh, Long Island writes me a letter saying they're going to sue my balls off, and I'm supposed to appear in Superior Court, and they want me to burn all all copies of the of the magazine, and 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 it's just well, it's just a lampoon on on. Uh, I keep showing that same damn advertisement. It's just a lampoon on Howard Stern, and uh, and what a damn fool he is. Uh, and what an asshole he's been uh, suing a poor guy like me down here in Vineland when all I'm doing was doing the same damn thing he does to make a living every day of the year. And so I couldn't afford to appear in Superior Court. It would have cost me tens of thousands of dollars. Uh, and so no one would distribute the comics. And, and I definitely would have won the case. And it's a long, long story. And some someday I have time to tell. But it's all about it's all about uh, uh, Howard Stern and, and what a what a jerk he is. Here's that same kid. I'm, I we advertise because he, uh, yeah, uh, a comic has to be 30, 28 or thirty two pages. So we made him thirty two pages, and then we worked in our advertisements. But you'll find them. They're, they're very funny. And then uh, uh, to go along with them, I did some T-shirts. Uh, and here's, I only have two of these left, uh, Rocky Marijuana Seed t-shirts, so you can see the, on the thing, the RMC, and on the back it has Rocky Marijuana Seed, and he's, he's out there planting his herbs, and there's only two of these back, so, and you have to have some pretty big balls, because this one's in, in the, uh, like a pink, <laughs> and this, and this one, I, I made these up as a joke this past summer. It cost me a couple hundred bucks, but I copyrighted it just so I couldn't be sued later on where it says, I'm with the creatard, and the creatard is, of course, a, a combination of creationist and retard. And what the creatards are doing to our to our education system is a crime, you know, where they're trying to make you teach creationism and all that crap uh, uh, side by side with science. And, and it's such a farce, and, and, and this idea that, that local rule on, local rule on, uh, on school boards is just absolutely crazy. But I'm going to, I'm putting this up, especially for, for, uh, 
uh, a shot at life, and I'll send and I'll make sure he gets to see it. So then he can decide if he wants copies of the comics, and then in the future, if anybody uh, is interested in the comics, uh, I can I can refer him to this video, and and then uh, if they want them, I'll send them on. So if anybody out there is interested in these things. Uh, uh, write me a personal note, and I uh, and we'll talk about it. Uh, thank you very much for your time. As I had to speak a little faster than normal, because I wanted to get this in. Uh, have a have a good week. Mm -hmm.